Jungkook became bald. Made by Wee Wen. Inspired by Chim Chim Trash. BTS texts number 102. Fiction. Ugh. My new shampoo really gave justice to my hair. I'm having blah blah right now. What the fork are you saying? Do you even know the meaning of that word? I'm crying. He has grown up so much. But, why'd you feel that over shampoo? You use blah blah when your happiness is to the moon and you can't describe it. Right. Elation is the word. Cookie. Stop using that. That is a swear word. Seriously? A swear word? Ha. Huh. That's the lamest excuse I have ever heard. Oh my gosh. Sorry. I didn't mean to curse on you. Fork it. Your description is right. Though it's not the appropriate word to use. Can we change the topic now? I don't want YouTube to ban this video. Can we? Oh no. So after I took a bath, I posted the shampoo on our Twitter account. I said there I love it. Now the CEO of the brand emailed me to be their endorser. Yes. Eventually. When is your call time, Cookie? So I can prefer you foods you can bring with. You don't have to scream like that, Cookie. We know gin is sweet, my hair. Where is my forking hair? Why am I bald now? No, I took a nap with hair. And I just woke up without having any single strand. Your hair is gone? How? Oh, maybe the shampoo you used. You told me you took a bath three times in an hour, right? Maybe because of it. No, it's not it. It's an anti-hair faller shampoo. Besides, I woke up without hair on my pillow. As in, no trace of my hair everywhere. Then maybe your hair sank on your scalp. That is scary. What does your head look like? Is it scalp only or does it feel like it's shaved? The latter. I think Hobby Young is right. My hair just went back on my hair follicles. What am I gonna do? I have meeting with the CEO of my favorite shampoo. Hair going back to hair follicle is impossible. Your head just got shaved. It's possible. It just happened. And who'd shave his head? Him. I told you. There is no traces of fallen hair on my whole room. And if someone would dare to shave my head, I would know and notice it. I don't know but I believe in Junie. Maybe you slept like a log you didn't notice it. I agree with Hobby Young. Besides, Cookie ain't sleeping like a log. So I peed and flushed the toilet but the water's not going down so I unclogged it. And guess what? The reason it's clogged is cause of hair. Based on its color, it's mine. I think my theory is right. You were slept walking and did that. You shaved your head. Is that possible? Doing all those things while sleeping? I'd wake up by taking three steps, right? But I think I know now what's happening. Someone is jealous of my beautiful hair he shaved it off my head. Later. If someone shaved your hair, you said it. You would notice it. You just slept like a log. You're awake for 18 hours before you take a nap, right? But I am used to being awake for 18 hours or more than that. Or maybe you're right. I was so exhausted before taking a bath and nap. Cause I went in a gym, then that could be it. So our only problem now is who shaved your head. I'll stick in my theory. Cookie, check your razor. It could be the answer. I don't think it could be. I just realized that I threw out my razor cause it's broken. And I don't have any kind of shaver. It's also impossible he used scissors. Then the sleepwalking theory is not what happened. Then someone really shaved your head. But who and how can we know who it is? Since we're in WeWen's videos where CCTVs are useless. It's crossed out. But there's still a way. I want you all go to my room with your razor. Now. Maybe I can put mine in front of my room and you'll get it yourself. I'm busy. Same. I'll just leave my shaver by my door. I'm too sleepy to go in your room, but I am bald. I don't wanna walk in our hallway cause I feel naked. Besides, we need to hold a beating about it. We won't stop until we find the culprit. If you feel naked then wear a cap. I'm sorry Cookie but I'll do the same. Busy too. Same with them. Plus, if you feel naked and embarrassed, you won't hold a meeting. What the fork? I'm the bald here but why are you all acting that you are? You know what? I'm starting to feel like you are hiding something from me. You are so paranoid. Cookie. By the way, my razor is outside my room now. I'll go to your room to present my razor. 
I'm not busy as them. If they really are, you guys smell very fishy huh? Well, except Forte. Wait, I think you're right. I'll wear a cap and visit you guys inside your room. Later. I am trying to sleep, Cookie. Don't try to open my door. Leave me alone. He tried to open my door too. Good thing I changed my door's lock. I just want to talk to you in person. Why aren't you letting me in? I am positive you all, except Forte, are hiding something from me. Cookie, you are paranoid. I am just busy so I can't attend to your wants. Same. Besides, my room is so messy cause I'm having a general cleaning. You just deep cleaned your room yesterday. Don't fool me, I have no choice left but to go to our security room and check the footages, good luck with that. Our CCTVs are always broken when we need it the most, you know what? I'll just help you break their doors so you can get in, no need. Cause I just found out that today, our CCTVs are working, you still have time to admit your crime. Maybe I could forgive you, I'm so sorry cookie. Jin forced me get some of your shampoo, my gosh. I didn't force you. It was a dare, so it was you Junie Young who shaved my head. Of all people, and what do you mean some? My bottle of shampoo is missing, you still have hair when I leave your room. And I didn't steal the shampoo, the amount of shampoo he took is good for one bath only, well, you seem like telling the truth based on the footage. Wait, after you left, Chim, Hobby Young and Yunga Young went in, yes. To steal the shampoo. I thought you won't notice it's missing, so you guys are the ones who took my shampoo, we did that cause we want to take revenge for yelling at us earlier. Remember it, we asked you if you can share your shampoo with us and you gave us an attitude, you afford it. And how evil of you for stealing it and shaving my head after, we didn't shave your head. What we want is your shampoo, look at the CCTV, does it look like we have razor with us, and we didn't stay in your room for so long. A minute will do to get it, but why you don't want me to talk to you in person, oh that. I'm just afraid you will see the shampoo on my shower room, there's a board in my room where our plans to get the shampoo are written on it, I just don't want to see you bald. I might collapse from laughing hard at you, while me, it's because I don't want you to smell my hair, then all of you are innocent. Then who shaved my head, I don't know but there's someone who is being silent the whole time. Right. Tay, he's innocent. Wait. After the three left, Tay came in with a razor, it was an accident. I was about to give you new razor cause I know yours is broken, I was about to wake you up when I slipped cause of the white liquid on the floor, then my hand, with the razor, went in your head. I didn't mean it, and since there's a shaved part, I decided to shave entirely your head, I kept it a secret cause I don't know how to explain yet. Please forgive me, I... I don't know what to say. You went in my room to give me new razor, he just said it. But I wish I can also sleep like that. That's a goal, cookie, white liquid? Does it have something to do with that swear word, it's a shampoo. Some drip cause I nervously squeeze the bottle, that's tragic. Tay is not after the shampoo. He just wanted to give cookie a gift, that's why I can't afford to be angry with him. He was trying to be sweet, forgive me for ruining your dream to be an endorser of that shampoo, it's okay, Tay. My hair can still grow. I'm sure the CEO will understand my situation, I think he's not the only one who needs to say sorry. I'm sorry, sorry to you too, Juni. I made you do that stupid dare, in behalf of my team. I am sorry too for trying to hide your shampoo, it doesn't matter anymore. I just realized the story would be different. If Tay didn't shave my head, my problem would be who stole my shampoo. The end. I have a good news. My dream to be an endorser of this shampoo is still on. Let me guess, you'll endorse their product that can grow hair faster, correct? Though I'm still embarrassed that I'm now bald, but a dream is a dream. That's right. Be confident. So I'm sure the meeting is not cancelled. Yes. Now I want you to help me find outfit for my meeting, cause I don't know how to style myself now that I'm without hair, anything but a turtleneck. You'll look like a roll on deodorant, I'm telling you, you are so rude. But I guess you are right. Or I can be a deodorant endorser too.